to avoid snake bites, I have nine simple steps for you guys to follow. Number one, try to keep at your game trails. Your snakes don't like sailing across open plains, so if you stick to your game trails, it'll be easier to see them. Do not try to step over logs or over rocks because your snakes will lie there and they'll wait for you, especially your puff adders. They wait for that instant where you step on them and they'll strike and they'll bite you. So remember to step on the rocks. When you're walking in the long grass, be sure that you've got the, the right gear. Try to remember to keep your hiking boots and then of course quite thick jeans for protecting yourself. Try not to wander around at night seeing that the snakes are mainly nocturnal so they come out during the night time. Uh, if you do venture out at night, remember to take a torch with you so that you can scan and see if there is any snakes around you. Hands in a hole? Don't try it. When you see an abandoned hole, don't just put your hand in there because your snakes like using these, uh, these holes as layers. When you do encounter a snake, don't try to kill it because a lot of people get injured by trying to kill a snake. Just stand still and then back away slowly. When you see dead snakes, don't pick it up because a couple of snakes, especially your wrinkles, likes playing dead. So as soon as you pick it up, it will actually strike you and you'll sit with a nasty bite. At home, be sure to keep everything tidy in your yard. Um, your wooden poles, cement blocks, all your rubbish. Don't just put it in a corner because that attracts rodents and rodents attract snakes. So that's another way to avoid it. And for people that already have snakes that say that you can tame them, leave it for the professionals because a wild animal will always stay a wild animal. You will catch him on a bad day and he will bite you if, if he feels the threat for it. So to avoid being bitten, follow these simple tips.